I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah by Hashem with Kakadash. I want to give a double honors to the apostles and the elders across the four corners, spreading this truth and this knowledge. Um, today is a beautiful day. Today's day, October 22nd, Saturday. It's the Sabbath, and I haven't did a lesson about almost going on two weeks. Just been trying to, just been going through the flow of this life and this matrix we've been living in, and I've been having a lot of elders, and I've been seeing a lot of um, scriptures by Ezra's, um, second book of Ezra's, and, uh, and I'm in Ezra's right now, chapter 2, verse 10. Thus said the Lord unto Ezra, tell my people that I would give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Their glory also will I take unto me and give these the everlasting tabernacles, which I have prepared for them. They shall have the tree of life for an ornament of sweet savor. They shall neither labor nor be weary. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they that they may be shortened the kingdom is already prepared for you and watch the kingdom is already prepared for the people you know select few people the chosen the the elect and um i was just in here thinking i'm outside on the backyard and i'll be just seeing the ants go around and they just doing their things the critters the bugs the grasshoppers and i'm realizing like how small we is compared to the most high you know yahweh yahweh shah even jesus christ the lord and I'm just like, man, we, we is nothing. We is nothing at all. You know, easy, I can just see this ant crawling on the ground. You know, easy, I can smash it. You know, but I'm not going to do that. The ant, the ant is at home outside doing what it's doing, communicating with the other ants. But I'm just realizing how small we is. And an ant is small to us as a human being. Think about how small we is to a, a next level entity, a next level power that we can't even understand. We might be really smaller than the ant compared to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And they just making me realize, like, you know, we live in a time of judgment. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here talking, thinking to myself, like, man, I can't go too much to the left. I can't go too much to the right. You know, this is a narrow path. And I feel like, you know, even just the scriptures, you know, listen to the elders and apostles the last couple of weeks. Like, we take the Lord for granted. Just going through the scriptures, realize he took us from Egypt to bondage, took us through the seas, fed us, you know, clothed us in the wilderness for 40 years. Like, we're so ungrateful. You know what I'm saying? Like, stubborn or stiff-necked people. You know, but the Lord seen light in us. You know what I'm saying? He could have chose any other nation. <laughs> the most I could have picked anybody to be his people. You know, I think... Just me, you know, being so-called Negro, <laughs> African-American, tribe of Judah, Jacob. You know, he could have picked anybody to be that lineage. You know, it could have been, it could have been the flip side of Esau, Abraham, Isaac. You know, it could have been the flip side of Moab or could have took the Egyptians and we could have been, you know, we could have been considered the devil of this earth. You know, we could have been the Esau of this world, but the most I didn't do that. You know, he gave this world a temporary motion of, he gave every tribe and nation, you know, he gave them a little reign of power. He gave them temporary motion. You know, I live in society, you know, I'm a kind of young, you know, we call it when somebody having real money, having some real motion, like he having motion. You know, most high gave them temporary motion. You know, the kingdom to come is everlasting motion. So I'm like, you know, most high is beyond flex. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a flex, you know, to be his people like, we undervalue this. We we underestimate the power and the glory of a, 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 a Lord, a power beyond our imagination, a, a power that understands us and loves us. Even through all the trials and tribulation, even through all all the stiff neck, the stubbornness, you know, the de the death, the everything we did, the Lord still loves us. You know, another thing just made me realize, like, being a man, like, we can't be sitting here being kids in this truth or this faith. You know, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is dealing with a million things right now, if not more. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we can't be too selfish of the Lord's time. We can't be too selfish of when we going through some, oh, Lord, why it is like, we can't be like that. Because at the end of the day, we are a man. We're going to have to endure some things out here. You know, I'm just sitting here thinking about this winter coming amongst us. And I'm like, man, you know, if I got to sleep in the cold for a couple of days, 
You know what I'm saying? Bundle, I know the Lord going to be with me. You know what I'm saying? I done slept in my car plenty of times in the cold. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just be thinking about the things that's coming. It's like, man, the Lord got me. You know, as long as I keep my faith in him, the Lord going to take care of me. He going to take care of you, too. I think about those people that went into the furnace. You know, they, uh, they didn't want to worship the idol and... They got in that furnace. It was three of them. And when they turned around, they saw four people in there. God had that faith. You know, when, when Daniel went in that lion's den, Daniel had faith. You know what I'm saying? Daniel went in there. He came out unscathed. We got to have faith out here, man. Can't be acting like little boys and little children out here and, 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 and living with doubt. Can't be living with doubt out here. The Lord don't want that. He wants you to know. He wants you to be confident in him because... The, the Lord controls everything, everything that's going on around us. He, he control your breath. He control your vision, right? And he control you that you woke up this morning to even hear this message. Same for me. And I'm saying this because I know a lot of people is ungrateful for the smallest things. We got to be, you know what I'm saying? We got to be men in the truth. We got to be women too. Women and men in the truth. You know what I'm saying, man? The Lord, the Lord is winning the battle for us right now, man. We got to have faith in the how is I going to come back and deliver us? We got to have faith out here. You know, I be thinking about, you know, the days that go by. Like, now I turn around, man, it was just July. It's October, man. It's finna be November. Finna be, you know what I'm saying? It's like, time is nothing. Time go by. Last week really don't matter. If you think about it, whatever you did last week, it might have an impact on your life, or whatever going on today. But it doesn't matter because it's in the past. Last month doesn't matter. Last year doesn't matter. So that's how I'm looking at this world. Like this world is this world is dying. It doesn't matter because whenever that time you do happen to wake up, whatever your call in life, if you happen to get beamed up and get delivered, if you happen to wake up on the other side of the kingdom, it didn't matter what happened in this world. This world, this world is over with. It doesn't matter what happened in old Egypt. Old Egypt is done with. It doesn't matter what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah is desolated. It doesn't even exist no more. So it's like, this world, this is a gift knowing what's to come. Being put on game before it even happened. This is a, I seen the brother was talking about playbook. Like this, this is a playbook. You know, I'm a, I love football, you know what I'm saying? I, I play Madden, you know what I'm saying? They used to have a little set in my ass Madden. This is a cheat code, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is a playbook. To everlasting life Take heed Take need of this knowledge And this truth Everybody's not gonna get it But hopefully you Hopefully this word Resonates to the select few And they'll let Many are calling Choose <laughs> Many is calling Few is chosen 